FinBad has completed its medium tank development process. Through the collaboration program of creating the medium tank, PINDAD has acquired knowledge, experience and international standard reference regarding tank development. The birth of the medium tank is evident to the ability of the nation's defence industry in producing innovative, high-tech products. The medium tank has the most advanced ballistic defence and anti-mine threat technologies. This latest generation medium tank is equipped with a wide range firing ability, starting from its short distance firing ability for infantry, up to the ability to fire at other combat vehicles. Pindad's medium tank is 30 tonnes in weight, 70 kilometres per hour maximum speed, has a three person capacity comprising the commander, a shooter and a driver, and it also comes with its main weapon the 105mm calibre turret with great destructive power. The medium tank is equipped with various latest technologies like an independent vigilant system, hunter killer system, laser warning system, battle management system and a level 5 protection. Turret medium tank comes with a 12 munitions autoloader mechanism in the turret and 26 spare munitions inside the hull based on a modern combat strategy where the vehicle's ease of mobility becomes one of its strengths aside from its own abilities. The medium tank mine blast tests to implement the STANAG 3B and 4A protection level criteria according to the procedures written on STANAG 4569 in AEP 55 Volume 2. These tests aim to monitor the blast effect of the 10 kg TNT under the track and of the 8 kilogram TNT under the body. The blast test is basically done to validate the design, to ensure that the mine protection level requirements and to test the ability of the vehicle in protecting its crew from mine threats according to a set of standards, so that the crew inside can avoid injuries or fatalities. These tests aim to find out the medium tank's mobility performance in good conditions and to ensure that all design requirements and specifications are met. The tests include equipment and dimension test, track band test involving 30% slope road crossing test, the 0.6 metre upright obstacle test, the parallel beam obstacle test, the embankment obstacle test, the 45 and 60 degree uphill road crossing test, the handbrake on 45 and 60 degree uphill road test, mobility tests involving the odometer test, safe speed test and maximum speed test, the 1.6 km long 60% uphill road test, the low speed test 5 km per hour on a 10 km distance, the scattered sand crossing test, the bushy sand hills crossing test and the combat light test, the 3 by 24 hour vehicle endurance test. This firing test is held to examine the firing function of the 105mm turret that is the main weapon of the medium tank with great destructive power. Medium tank's turret is equipped with a 105mm caliber cannon that is able to fire various types of 105mm caliber ammunition. The firing test was done in the tank's static mode as well as in its mobile mode. This test aims to show the lock-on ability on one point while the tank is moving, the tank's firing ability in its static condition from all sides, as well as the tank's firing ability on a static target when the tank is moving. 